Hi, this is um, Nemesis Stars, and I um, apparently want to talk about um, certain things and also uh, get into a review of what I saw last night, um, which was the King, new King Kong Godzilla movie, which is why I forgot to post. Unfortunately, I'll explain why. Um, <laughs> um, so the reason I didn't post the video... Um, well, basically, when I was in the cinema on my other, uh, like, after I got back on my other, well, the reason was I was too busy sorting Yu-Gi-Oh cards um, for ages. Um, I was sorting out a lot of cards. Um, so that's the reason I didn't post the video last night, but I will actually post it today um of when i when me and my mom and whatever, actually were in the cinema okay so so okay so um now up to the review um of the movie i saw um yesterday uh so apparently um so apparently i liked um the way this movie um actually went um um apart from the other movie um before it um so there is a lot of reasons and such so i actually like that there's more king kong and godzilla um in this movie um compared to the other one which didn't have them in as much um so apparently i like the interaction or whatever um the team up um i actually like the team up with like king kong and godzilla um it's brilliant um so i actually also liked um king kong still goes uh to get help and whatever whenever he's injured um which is cool i like it um while Godzilla is fighting threats and whatever, like Titans and whatever, um, but when um, King Kong is um, having issues in his own um, his own world um, to do with like an, a tribe down below that's tending to injure him, he goes for help from the other one because he can't deal with um number of um things he can't deal basically with all those apes and this monster that freezes things and whatever um which was controlled by the big ape and whatever um so that's why king kong goes to help basically goes in egypt and asks for godzilla's help which godzilla does show up but godzilla does not <laughs> accept the whole friendship thing um so what I believe is Godzilla's actually raged, um, not listening whatsoever. Um, now I actually reckon this could be a number of two re was this could be a number of reasons. I um, think it's because you know Mothra died in one of the movies, which caused him to be more angered. So he just didn't he couldn't trust um, people as much. So he would usually offer he would usually wander by himself most of the time. Um, so it's probably why when King Kong uh, tried to ask for Godzilla's help, he was just like, no. Um, so when King Kong actually butted Godzilla down, he actually had a um, iron fist at the time. Um, so he basically, when he got Godzilla down, he tried dragging him to the portal uh, because he wanted his help, no matter the consequences. Um, but eventually Mothra shows up um convinces godzilla um even though she, you know she's all right um so godzilla believes the whole thing um goes down into the portal helps king kong fight the um the leader of the ape and the big um freezing monster so i actually like this approach because um even though there's also a little um tiny little um cog version uh, like a little baby version it's actually sad that its mother dies because it got killed by the leader, um, but King Kong in a way actually fights for that tribe, um, 
because he basically thinks, you know, even though he has a lot of apes like him, he wants to, um, he wants to, like, have, like, a family, um, once again, and he actually feels like it's the right thing to do, however, he, he feels like he wants to be part of it, um, so eventually he does, with the help of Godzilla, he does actually be, um, uh, the leader and such, um, so eventually, um, King Kong actually becomes the leader, Godzilla pretty much does his own thing, um, in the end or whatever, um, so even though the, fr so apparently King Kong uses that, um, the freezing monster as a mount and also a friend and such, so, um, so in a way King Kong actually became the adopted parent of the little, um, Kong, um, so I'm glad, and I'm actually thinking, um, in the next movie, I'll probably have, hopefully, I'll probably have, uh, King Kong have a kid, maybe, I don't know, it could happen, um, but overall, I give the movie a 10 out of 10, um, since, you know, it fo focuses on the monsters for the most part, um, I actually like it because it actually has backstory as well to um, what happened between the Titans um, and the um, and the apes. Um, so basically, according to what the story actually predicted, um, so the leader of the apes, uh, which I forget his name, um, I know it had Scar in his name. Um, scar something um but apparently he was not a very good ape he turned against these um titans um you know which is like the sort of monsters that godzilla is so apparently he turns against these lot and whatever it caused a big massive war um and um and apparently um which, you know, uh, which I reckon is basically like Godzilla's kind or whatever. Um, so basically he does something, traps, um, I reckon one of the monsters, which most likely is the freezing monster, um, and tends to control it and all that. Um, but yeah, I actually give this solid movie 10 out of 10 or whatever, so, um, so yeah, it's, um, brilliant and such, so... Yeah, I actually recommend anyone that hasn't seen this movie should actually watch it. It's worth watching. Um, I was excited when I saw it. Um, every moment um, that they fought, whatever, um, whatever, even when Mothra fought, I actually liked it. There was a lot of comedy in the movie that I liked as well, especially with like you know, some characters. Uh, one character in particular made me think of Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy because uh, of the comedy. Um, but ten times funnier. Um, so apparently that's all I've got to say for this video, mother. Um, so um, feel free to leave a like and subscribe, mother. Um, uh, for like more review, uh, more like reviews in the future, um, more like videos and stuff like that, or whatever. Stay tuned for that, and yeah.